AI learns to draw better and better every year. These pictures made by AI started appearing on the internet and they look quite impressive. Sometimes too impressive. And all this looks quite frightening to me, because I'm a digital artist and I spent several hours on one artwork. And this thing generates like 9 pictures a minute. Does it mean that the digital artist soon will become extinct? Well, I don't think so, and I want to explain why. First, I should say that my friend inspired me to talk on this topic by making a video where he's been trying to illustrate a children's book with pictures generated by AI. And the result turned out to be super funny, but also, like, absolutely terrifying. Mouse! Requesting help! Mouse! Screamed the cat. And the turnip was pulled out. The end. I highly recommend you to watch it. It's really enjoyable, but I'm not gonna be responsible for your nightmares after that. So, obviously, it's not that good. At least for now. And at least this free version, which is available for everybody. So, there are a couple of reasons why I don't think that digital artists will become extinct. First, the backstory and the emotions. I think that in the art, art itself isn't that important. It basically like just picture. Wait a second before you start typing stuff, just hear me out. Yes, it may be beautiful, it may be pretty, and you may really love it, but I think it's not the most important thing that gives it the most value. I think it becomes more important, the more valuable for us when we see the artist behind this artwork, behind this picture. The story, the background. When we look at the artwork, we subconsciously imagine an artist behind this artwork and admire his or her skills. Like, when you show something to your friend, he's like, eh, yeah, that's nice, yeah, I like it. And then you'll be like, well, I've made it, you know? And suddenly the friend starts being like, oh my god, that's so cool. <gasps> yes, he's trying to compliment you and make you feel nice, but also it actually gets more valuable for him because you've made it. He knows you, he likes you, so he will like what you do. It will be valuable for him. So the more we know about this item, the more valuable it becomes. I think it's because we are people and we like seeing other people do amazing stuff, like artworks, clothes, anything. We sympathize. We understand how hard it is. That is also why some antique things may cost like huge amount of money and other may be considered like garbage. Take some old ugly chair, but it's been touched by some random king who went crazy and got decapitated later. Boom, now it's priceless. Even though we just made him up and he probably has been sitting on many chairs during his life, but this particular chair. It's special. It's been his favorite. We get excited now. Our imagination gets tons of associations with this chair. It gives us emotions. If you go to some random big shop like H&M or something and you will find a t-shirt with artwork there, you won't pay any attention. Because it's kind of faceless. You feel like it's been generated there randomly by itself, magically. But actually, no, somebody's created a design for it, but still you'll be like, eh. because you don't know this person. So you don't care, you don't get a backstory. This designer is almost like AI for you already. But if your grandma or your friend will open a shop, it won't be generic for you, it will be special you'll have warm and nice associations with it. The more we know about this object, the more valuable it becomes for us. That is why companies love to tell you about their process, about the owners, the backstory. That is why KFC has the portrait of this guy as its logo. This idea is the core of Patreon. 
By the way, I have a Patreon, I have tons of stuff in there, so check it out if you like. That is why brands like to use actors in their ads. Because actors are associated with some heartwarming moments in the film or characters. They have a lot of backstory and they make you feel emotions. And now, if you see the lipstick with your favorite actor, you get those associations from the film. And you've been feeling happy and cozy watching it, and now this lipstick brings all those memories and feelings back instantly. Second reason is the uniqueness. Yes, there is nothing unique in the art, everything's been done before. I'm talking about how our brain defines the uniqueness and value. So one more thing against the AI is that it's too easy to make and super easy to use, so it's kind of like free. You can generate thousands of pictures fast and the human brain is like, there are so many of these things. It means that they are probably worthless and I don't need something that doesn't worth anything. Like grass on the street, it's free and you don't care about it unless it is some special grass that's been specially made by one scientist and it's really hard to get it anywhere. It is called fairy grass and doesn't look much different, but it sparks just a little bit during the sunset after the rain. Feel it? How your brain slowly moves from I don't care about this grass to whoa, sounds like something we can't afford and we need it. Like now, right now. It does also have a bit of backstory in there, but I guess they kind of always come together. You've got the idea. The limited collections, the collectibles, the special editions. You can buy a bootleg stuff for like a couple of dollars, but you don't want it. You want that original Nintendo console for hundreds of dollars, because it's unique and there are just a handful of them left so they are valuable for your brain. And again, it's probably kind of tied to the backstory. They usually go together. And I also think that this AI thing already happened with photos. Kind of. It takes seconds to make them. We all have cameras, we all can make photos, and there are already millions of them in the internet. Good, bad, free, for money anything you want. You can probably find anything you wish at those stock sites. Like a bunch of dogs thrown in the air by the Master 1305, or a cat in a superhero costume in different poses. Yes, it's a bit different from a perspective of creator, because these creators still get money and they still make photos. But from the point of the usual viewer, I think it's very close. And still, here is the Peter McKinnon. Yes, he makes amazing photos. But these photos are made by him. And that fact gives them that extra value. He can't make millions of them, so they're kind of a limited number of these photos, and that's what makes them valuable for our brain. And we also know about him a little, we can imagine how he's been making these photos somewhere in the mountains, probably after drinking some coffee. And here is our backstory. People still like photos made by people. And AI already makes some awesome art and artists still exist. I think when AI will become better, it will mostly change the situation for the big projects like the films and games where you need tons of those concept photos and pictures to actually fulfill your goal of creating a film or a game. But we'll still have beautiful indie games with beautiful artworks there made by wonderful artists, made by real alive artists, because we care about other people and it feels like an actual magic when you look at something and think that it's been made by an actual human just like you, and not the machine. So that is why I think the digital artist will be fine. Art isn't valuable because of itself, 
but because it has a backstory and feelings behind it, and an actual human being. When you look at it, you can actually imagine artists sitting there for several hours and he spent like many years on practicing his skills, perfecting them, and now all these years are combined in this one thing. I think it's amazing. Anyway, what's your opinion on AI? Do you agree with me or I am just being too optimistic about it? Leave a comment below, I'll be happy to hear your thoughts. And if you want to support me to do more of this kind of content and also get access to all of my poses, references and step-by-step -step tutorials, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for your patronage! Thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day and I'll see you soon! Bye!